Okay, okay, are we good? Are we shaking? Are we straight? Probably not, but I feel like you're looking at me from below. Let's just get this over with. Hello, my name is Christian. Hello from me and my tan. <laughs> Thank you, Six Flags. Welcome back to my channel. I'll make this intro really quick, but if you've been here for a while, you know that's not really gonna happen. But anyways, if you've been watching my videos, you know I started this channel with my nursing journey in my last semester of nursing school. Then I graduated in May, then I studied for the NCLEX, passed my NCLEX RN end of July, got my license August, and I said in my last nursing video that hopefully my next nursing video would be if I have a job in the hospital. Well, guess what? Half of that happened. One, I have a job now. I have my first ever RN job. I'm not in a hospital though. It's been really, really hard to be honest. I've been applying, I've been having interviews. There are some hospitals across the city that's still asking for a second interview this month, which I am looking forward to. But then there are those who are a lot <laughs> who've already said, no, we don't want you. But that's okay, <laughs> that is life. You get successes, you get victories, you get acceptances, then you get rejections and disappointments and discouragements, but that is okay, that is life. We just have to keep on moving, going forward, not quitting, stand back up, and keep on applying. If I haven't told you yet, my main goal in this nursing career is to one day hopefully teach in an academic setting. I want to be a professor one day so I could torture the students. <laughs> Slytherin represent. My role model is Professor Umbridge. <laughs> JK Rowling. <laughs> Anyways, while I am looking for a hospital job, what have I been doing? Staying at home, eating, staying in my bed, watching Korean jumps the whole day, and eating some water. I am sick and tired of this, so I said I have to go out and get any type of RN job and gain some knowledge and experience while I am waiting for that hoped for hospital job. So my very good friend, Ate Christine, who is an MP herself, told me about the opportunities and the benefits of a per diem nurse. It's a type of ship that's between full-time and a part-time. There's a pool of open shifts for a company and then you just take whichever schedules and shifts that you want to work for that works according to your free time and there is no minimum or maximum hours that you need to work for. She told me about this flu shot company that she formerly worked for so I was like let me try that. So I applied for it two weeks ago, just had an interview and then guess what my very first RN job is a flu and wellness nurse. Yay! So basically yes I get flu shots but in the wellness aspect there are instances where I have to do a general checkup of a patient so vital signs, maybe blood glucose meters, some educational teachings about nutrition or following up with their primary health care provider in that sense. So basically this is a medical flu nursing company they send you to corporate venues all across the city like law firms, tech companies, accounting, and even major brand companies. Instead of these big companies telling their employees to, oh, individually go to your own doctor or do your own pharmacy to get your flu shot, why don't we hold an hour building and just ask nurses to come and vaccinate all of our employees to have a more organized manner and to be sure that everyone is getting the flu shot because it is very important to get your flu shot. And so that is my job to be called into the spheres and events by these big companies to give their employees flu shots. But first off, what is the importance of this job? What is the flu in general? Influenza or flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by a viral infection. When contracted, it starts off with mild respiratory and general ENT symptoms, but it can potentially lead to death. And how do we prevent that by getting the flu vaccine? The flu virus strains changes. That's why it's so important to yearly get your flu shot, not just to protect yourself, but to protect your loved ones around you. So it is very important. I beg you to get your flu shot. If I really need to, I'll do it. I'll give you your flu shot. So anyways, except in this job, I have never given a flu shot or any form of immunization. So once I got through the onboarding, I realized, what did I get myself into? <laughs> so the weekend before my very first shift, my mom sat me down on the dining table, just taught me and reminded me how to maneuver through the whole procedure of injections. So from the syringes to the needles to taking out of the vials, even bought me an orange to practice on the whole night. I love you, mom. <laughs> and I will lead you on to this whole journey of my first and second weeks of my first ever nursing job as a flu nurse. And thank you for going on this journey with me. 
Hello everybody, it is September 3rd, 11.30 p.m. I just got home from dinner with Kevin and Isabel, my two nursing friends, and tonight is the night before my first day of my first ever nursing job tomorrow, September 4th, as a flu and wellness nurse. I am just here preparing my luggage, uh, making sure I have everything paperwork, making sure I don't forget anything at home, and hopefully I get a good night and adequate sleep because I will need it <laughs> tomorrow. I need to be mentally alert, gotta wake up at 7.30 to iron my clothes for the day, and just recheck everything again. Flu vials still refrigerated for the night, and Wish me luck. God bless my first patient tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you never find this video. This is it. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hello, today is the day. Good morning. It's my first day ever. I am now here in the kitchen all dressed up for today. I'm going to prepare my flu vaccine pack. I'll be taking out the ice packs from the freezer and the flu vaccine vials from the refrigerator. I want to keep them as refrigerated as much as possible before I leave. This is my attire for today. Just a simple semi-formal polo shirt and black pants and some dress shoes, actually just berries. And should I keep it chest out or chest in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so these are the parts of the flu vaccine pack. Just the four ice packs. Two bubble wraps just to protect the interior of the bag. A bag with the flu vaccine vials and the thimerosal free pre-filled syringes. So what we do is just first put two ice packs on the bottom. Put the flu vaccine in the middle. And the two on the top and the bubble wrap to protect the upper interior of the bag. And we just zip it up. Yay, it's ready. So my stuff are ready, both my black bags. So I have my very small luggage here just with all of the empty syringes that I will use to pre-fill with the flu vaccines, the lollipops, the documents, the chuck, the table cover, the band-aids, the dressings and everything else. In my backpack will be my sharps container and my flu vaccine pack I just arrived here in the company with my lab coat on and as usual I'm one hour early so I'm gonna set up in a few minutes, set up my vaccination station, low-key nervous. Hi guys, I just got home. Not to sound like an ingrate compared to 12 hour full ship bedside nurses. I am tired from 4 hours of shooting people with the flu vaccine. But no, it's probably because it's my first time doing it and I was carrying a whole luggage and bag the whole travel in the subway and going to the place but you know what i cannot complain really today was such a great day such a great and unforgettable experience that this is my first ever nursing job though per diem it is my first job as an rn and i'm just so grateful and still so surreal to me so today i got to the site early so i just pre-filled 10 vaccines and just prepared my vaccination table station and just waited for the clients to come in first ever client i was intimidated but I didn't show it. I just went right in for the muscle and went through all the intramuscular injection procedures. And all the shots after that were just a quick slide of the hand. And I'm just so grateful also because one of the senior nurses who've been doing this for 10 years now, Nurse Stephanie, she really guided me before the event time on just reminders of what to do and what not to do. And I'm just so grateful for her and she helped ease my nerves right before we started. But anyways, I was able to give 60 flu shots. And what's so great is actually many clients commended me telling me that my hand was quick and light and for the most part was painless so it just feels great to know that even though it's my first time people actually appreciated what i can do and what i did for them except for one who said ouch but it's okay she didn't bleed much 
but it's okay, we had the band-aid and was able to give them lollipops afterwards. I'm just so grateful for today. It's just so surreal, honestly. One of the most humbling experiences for today was in the end of the program and I was signing off all of the consent forms. You know, before for clinicals, I would go to the pharmacy or to City MD to get my flu shots and then would see the RN signature from the nurse who administered the flu shot to me. But today when I signed up the RN signature line, it felt so great, so satisfying and so humbling that all of my hard work is I can finally see in a piece of paper what I was once seeing as a client. It's now me who's doing it for these people. I've been anxious and afraid for today, for the past week and weeks actually. And today just goes to show that most of our limitations come from our mind, from our irrational fears. But until you actually do it and conquer them, then you see how much you can do and how much you're actually made of. And today was such a great experience and I actually cannot wait. And I'm so excited for my next shifts next week and I'll update you then. Hi guys, good morning. I'm gonna show you the five crates I received today for my shifts next week. So they're sent by FedEx Overnight Shipping so that I could receive them right away, especially because I have to refrigerate the flu vaccine vials. So I have to rush and open these up so I can refrigerate the vaccines and refreeze the ice pack. So I'll be back after I open them up and we'll give you a tour on what's inside the boxes. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick tour of what's inside these crates for the supplies for flu shot defense. So first off is a folder and the package with all the documents that I need, like the event sheet information, sign-in sheets for the clients, and also consent forms that they and I have to sign. A trolley, kiss, it's freaking heavy. <laughs> a name tag, so they know who I am. Pens, my table cover, the check for the vaccination field, and also my disposable lab coat. Hand sanitizer, which really smells good by the way. We have large gloves, of course, for my big hands. <laughs> Bottle prep pads to wipe out the top of the vials. Also before piercing the skin of the patient. And serial gauzes for after vaccination. Band-aids for the boo-boo. <laughs> Chef's container for the needles or bloody gauzes. Then we have the actual flu vaccine pack. So inside are ice packs to keep the vaccines cold. Then we have boxes of flu vaccine vials, depending on the number of how many patients you're supposed to shoot at that specific event day. And also three pre-flow thimerosal, three flu vaccines for pregnant women or anyone allergic to thimerosal preservatives in regular multi-dose flu vaccines. And for that, we attach a needles to the thimerosal free pre-flow vaccine. And of course, for the multi-dose vials that you need to pre-fill and fill to actually give to the patient, 25 gauge needles. An emergency kit that I pray and hope to never use during any of my events inside are needles and also medications for in case of anaphylactic shock such as epinephrine and also Benadryl for light reactions and also a stethoscope and blood pressure cup for any vasovagal reaction and the most important part free lollipops after the vaccinations Hey, just got home after what felt like 10 years because of all the train delays. I just finished my first shift for the second week. I vaccinated 50 people in one hour and 15 minutes. Hello, the two shifts today. Did you see that first video? I know, what a beautiful view, right? It was in the Avenue of the Americas area and you were in the 50th something floor. Beautiful. It was like from a postcard or something. I'll see you tomorrow for another shift. So the product, oh. <laughs> no this is not a makeup tutorial, just got home from my shift from today, 3 hours, I'm in the bathroom ready to take off my contact lenses, I vaccinated around 60 people today in 3 hours, last shift for the week tomorrow, but I'm so glad today is over, everyone was so so nice, actually a few people came up to me after the vaccination and said that I was the quickest and most painless flu shots they have received so far, so. <laughs>
Hey, just got home from my last shift for the week. It has been my first full week as a flu nurse and it has been such an amazing, unforgettable, and just a satisfying experience. I have learned so much, my self-confidence and my skills, even though it's just a simple task, has really been boosted a lot and I'm so grateful for this experience. Up to date, for the past six shifts that I've had as a flu nurse, I have vaccinated almost 300 people. <coughs> Can you believe that? Saving lives for this upcoming flu season. <laughs> So if you need flu shots, you know where to go. I'll see you in another video, whether it's nursing or my personal life. Thank you for joining me in my journey and my story for my first ever nursing job. Thank you.